One of the questions I get asked almost on a daily basis is as women get older, how long can I wear my hair? Everybody wants to look good for their age as they get older and as young as possible. But wearing your hair very long does not necessarily mean you're gonna look younger. So what is the best length for you? I am so excited to allow you for this special series to come into my salon and learn some of my salon secrets. Sarupa, welcome to my Chelsea salon. Hi, Richard. Tell me, what are you feeling about your hair? So, I started growing my hair as I got older, and I've, it just always ends up looking like this. A bit... But why did you feel you wanted to grow well, it as you got older? It was just that sort of shifting from realising I'm not youth anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm 47, I, I, yeah. I thought it'd be more elegant, yeah. I thought it'd make me look slimmer, because yeah. as you get older, you get a little bit wider. It, I, it, what you're saying to me is, is, is so normal. Uh, every day, somebody comes in, sits in my chair and says, look, I'm getting older, how long should I wear my hair? I want to keep hold of my hair. It makes me feel younger, it makes me feel more sexy, it makes me feel girly. But the thing is, we have to wear our hair as we get older in the right way. First things first, I'm going to give it a good brush. Brush through with my uh, detangling brush, my Tangle Angel. I always say to everybody, are you more of an angel or are you a rebel? Probably a rebel. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> well, although I can be an angel, I would have to say. Well, I'll, br I'll brush your hair with the, uh, with the with rebel. Both. Yeah. I think as, as, as we get older, we can all get a little bit insecure about our looks, but hair is one of the things that can really, uh, if you've got a good haircut, hair is one of those things that can really give you a lift. Is that about three or four inches off? Yeah. It's not that bad, is no. it? But what I'm doing is, it's not so much off the length, what I'm doing is I'm taking I'm lighting you up all around the face to open your face up so we can see it. I think one of the mistakes people make is that they allow the hair around the face to get far too heavy. So it swamps you. And I, as one gets older, it's a quite a good idea to try and get this hair off of your face. Don't hide behind it. It's quite nice as well. The fringes are very, very softening. Um, but usually a fringe just on the angle on both sides, something when you can, when you put your hair up, which I know a lot of people do, and it's nice to have a few little soft bits to frame around your face. If you've got wrinkles, you're worrying about that, you can't have, get to get your Botox done every month, you know, a fringe on the side, fringe on the ankle is a really lovely idea. A few light layers around the face, sort of more choppy layers, work very, very well. Anything that is going to soften your face. One of the mistakes a lot of hairdressers make is that people come in with long hair and they say, I want lots of height. And sometimes it's just not possible when you've got long hair. So what people do, they tend, up, tend to cut the layers far too short on the top in order to try and give you height, which very rarely it ever does. And then you have one haircut here and another haircut here and very often, where you've taken all this hair away from the bottom, that creates split ends and not enough hair at the, at the length. Because what we're trying to constantly aim for with long hair is this luscious, gorgeous, aspirational, sexy, bouncy, shiny hair. And that's not going to happen if the layers are too short. So when I'm talking about longer layers, this is what I mean. So if I start to layer the hair here, so when, you have, when you're going into your hairdressers, one of the tips I would say, you must say to them, I want my hair, my layers long. We have to layer the hair because that is what gives it the bounce and the movement. So these are long layers. So the shortest point, so when I drop the hair here, we have the layers just going around the back here which will give it that movement. What we don't want is layers as short as this up here, because then that makes this look fine and wispy. If I'm just putting those long layers in, you can see the first layer I've cut in there. 
that is going to give you lots of bounce and movement without making your hair look fine and wispy on the ends. So a lot of people, when they're getting older, they still want to have their long hair, but they're very grey. So, and they invariably are, are dyeing it. Now, the hair that you're actually dyeing, grey hair, is actually in texture. It's a lot thicker and it's a lot yeah, more wiry. What, do we know why that is? Why that is? It's, it's just, just gr grey hair is just very, very different It seems to kind of come out overnight yeah, and, it is. and literally be yeah. growing a different direction That's right. even. That's right. And I find that when people, if they're wearing their hair long, that's fine if they're colouring their hair. But because underneath that colour is grey, that can make your hair quite frizzy. And again, if you've got long ends and they're frizzy ends, you have to cut them off. So I think as a rule of thumb, I always say it's okay to wear your hair long, but there's the right way to wear it. So for you now, if you're already, we're seeing, I'm opening up your face, I've opened up your face, we've cut three or four inches off the length, and it's starting to look really healthy. It's got a shape to it, it's got a style to it. So my three secrets for wearing your hair long as one gets older, my top three would be, number one, don't wear your hair too long with six inches of split ends. Number two, you must have some layers in your hair to give it that movement and the bounce, but they have to be long layers. And number three, don't let too much hair swamp your face. So get your hairdresser to open up your face with some softer layers that will frame your face and also possibly, more often than not, a long fringe on the side, one that you can maybe tuck behind your ear. And also with your long hair, because it's so versatile, you like to put it up. If you like to put it up, you need something to frame your face. So a long fringe what usually works. And I think on that note, I think we're pretty much done.